everyone, my name is Sheila. I want to talk about imagination and how to access your imagination. But first of all, we need to know what is imagination. According to Cambridge Dictionary, imagination is the ability to form pictures in the mind or ability to think of new ideas. They are completely correct, but there is something missing. Imagination is the key to creating your dreams and building your future. Like Pablo Picasso said, everything you can imagine is real. Or imagination creates reality. They said those words because they, they knew imagination was important. Well, let's think about something else. Let's think about magic. Some kind of eye illusions. Probably you all know this little trick in here, this little trick here. It looks like a chopped finger, but it's not. It's not even real. It's all about our imagination and how I see that. It's, about, it's like a game with, it is a game, our imagination and brain. In our childhood, we believed that trick and that made us scared. But there was a scare there was a scare trick than that one. This trick was this trick is start this trick starts with a woman climbing into a box. And after some dancing and songs, the magician starts to cut women in half. Our imagination believed that was true. We got scared but that was not true. There is more than one woman in this trick. I told you this because these tricks have never been real. It was all about our imagination. It just took us where our imagination was to take. What about movies? Let's talk about imaginary movies. Like Harry Potter. Some of us really believe in that world, some of us don't even know what Harry Potter is. But these movies still being watched and people want to live inside them. They are playing movie stuffs and they are saying the magical words like Wingardium Leviosa. I mean it's not Wingardium Leviosa, it's Wingardium Leviosa, it is how we should say it. And they, they believe that things gonna fly after to say these magical words. I believe that too, but it's not gonna fly. <laughs> so or like Lord of the Rings or Percy Jackson or Star Wars. Some kind of movies are still being watched because they inspire them, they are creative things and they help other people to be be creative. Just like Marvel. There are millions of Marvel fans. I'm a fan too. We love that. We we just love to go with their storylines and we love the dressing like them. And we we love to go our imagination. We know they're not real but we really love watch them and live with them. Because sometimes we don't want reality. And imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. Let's go back to the main thing. How to access your imagination? I'm going to tell you five ways to open your creativity and access your imagination. Let's start with writing. We talked about movies before and you can write your thoughts and spend quiet moments. This will make you relax and think about yourself. The second one is reading and reading inspires and make us think of new ideas. But most important is art. And maybe we are not all Picassos, but we enjoy art in any form. Maybe art is maybe your art is not painting, but your art may be decorating your room or maybe dance, maybe music can be your art. Think of it was studying, studying um, in subjects in the beginning. You're not, 
you're not enough, you're not good enough, but as you practice, you will get more used to it. You will make solve the problems more easier. And find your art, do your art, and enjoy your art. And maybe, probably the, probably the um, funniest one is daydreaming. I imagine we all we all remember when we were in elementary school and daydreaming. And teacher told us to stop daydreaming and get back to work. Those days were good, and we stopped daydreaming, which is something we never should do. But we thought there's no time for daydreaming, but there's always time for daydreaming. And it's a good exercise to open your creativity and access your imagination. To new ideas and dreams, you have to start make daydreaming. And let's start daydreaming today and enjoy those little moments of creativity. Everything starts with a dream. You should never forget that and you should you should enjoy these little things in your life. Imagination is oh, with, let's go with SpongeBob. Uh, he, he says we don't need television as long as we have our imagination and it's completely true because you can go with your own world with imagination and imagination is the eye of the soul. So, and for the final, all our, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to push them. Thank you.